Hi, welcome to Church Sound Tips. Today we're going to be reviewing the Zoom H2N portable recorder. Don't go away. Hi, this is churchsoundtips.com and today we are going to take a look at the Zoom H2N handy recorder. Um, just to kind of begin, have a look at some of the features of this recorder. Um, this is actually the second version that I have. Um, the Zoom H2N has been around for a while and this is a, a more recent upgrade to it. Um, so, um, first of all, you have your screen, which is a backlight on the front. It shows your recording levels, also your recording mode and the time of your recording also. And you access the menu through the screen uh, as well. On the right hand side, you have your on off switch. You also have a dial which allows you to change the recording level if you so wish. Um, you also have a play button. This also allows you to work your way through the menus. You have a menu button at the top as well. On the other side, there's a USB socket which allows you to plug the unit into a computer and you can download your sound files from there. You have line out which you can use for headphones uh, if you wish, if you wish to listen to your recordings. There's a remote input, there's volume which controls the built-in loudspeaker. It's also line in if you wish to use the H2N as a microphone going direct into a mixing desk for example you can do that also. Um, the USB socket also allows you to use it as a USB microphone so to record direct to, to PC which is very handy um, to um, the large button on the front is the record button which if I press red light comes on it indicates that we are starting to record and you can see the recording level as I'm speaking and the time clock is going up also if I press the button again it will stop recording and that sound file has now saved uh, which is uh, saved onto smart media card which is contained in the bottom of the unit, you get access through it um, and it pulls out at the bottom there. And while I'm looking at the bottom, there is a facility to put a standard microphone handle on this so you can attach it to a microphone stand. There's also a small desk stand unit that comes with the Zoom, uh, which is handy uh, for home recording, etc. Recording on a desk. The top of the unit, you will see a dial at the top which allows you to change different recording modes. XY is for stereo recording from the front of the device. MS recording is um, for if you are doing some video or film recording and maybe you want to later adjust the width of the stereo image of the recording you can do that. So that's called mid-side recording. Also the two channel mode sorry, two channel mode is for surround sound on two channels. Four channel mode is for four channel surround sound. To change the channels all you have to do is move the dial round that changes the recording mode. Uh, I'll show you quickly show you some of the menu functions. To get the menu up, you press the menu button. Then the menu 
displays on the screen. So you can access different things, folders, individual files, change your input. Uh, you can change some of the options in there. You have various filters, etc. You can change your recording mode. Various options within this sub menu, uh, the different types of recording format. MP3 starts at 48 kilobits per second. I'll work my way through all the different options. That goes up to 320 kilobits per second. You can do also do wave file recording direct to the smart media card, 16-bit and 24-bit recording and that goes all the way up to 96 kilohertz recording quality. I'm just going to cancel that. Some of the other features in the menus, there's a couple of tools that are built in. You have a tuner for guitar, bass, um, open string tuning, dadgad tuning, so it's very helpful. You also have a metronome as well, which could be useful. System tools, you can access the SD card, you can format, etc. from the device itself. USB access options and then you have your various folders as well. So that's the Zoom H2N portable recorder. I've used one of these for a good number of years now and I use it on a very regular basis. The recording quality I think is excellent. It has all sorts of different uses. If you're doing video, it could be excellent for that. Podcasting, um, recording talks. Um, if you're using it, using it in church, it could be recording sermons or messages. Conference recording it could be a very useful to, for to doing interviews, for example. Uh, it's just a great little device at a, a pretty good price as well. If you want a fuller review. If you go to churchsoundtips.com, H2N, uh, that's churchsoundtips.com, H2N, or if you see the link below in the description, you'll be able to get a, a fuller um, review of this, this device. Um, but I highly recommend it. Um, okay, thanks for watching, and come back soon.